Hey fellas, it's uh, late at night. I just had some of my, uh, uh, somebody I haven't seen in a very long time leave. Uh, I don't know if you guys do it, but I do what's called security. And I don't leave the lights on. So, well, I'll probably watch a show after this, but uh, anyway, so. Uh, uh, you know what, there are, I'm just a very satisfied, it, it, there is the relationships that you develop, if you're smart enough, and you find uh, decent people that you want to keep into your life, um, the fact that that keeps paying dividends without you having to do anything, without having to pay for a relationship or invest in a relationship or anything like that. I'm, I'm not sure why that light's so bright, but <laughs> it is what it's I, I just have to tell you something. Um, <clears throat> I have, um, I tried out, uh, and this is an ode to the guys that have made it into what I refer to as the tier one services. And uh, I uh, I went into the military because I was a criminal, and I was one of the last types of criminals that they allowed in the military. In fact, I'm nowhere nowhere qualified to even uh, get into, not even apply, even apply. Um, so, <clears throat> anyways, I got in there. And any kind of uh, <clears throat> way to make money, extra money, I would always volunteer for it. So I came in in what's called an 11, which is the infantry series. But I was an x-ray, which means I was undesignated, which means they really didn't want me. <laughs> but because they needed bodies, they took me. So anyways, and, and all through uh, basic training. Well, the, the first part of my basic training, they used to call me a criminal. And then because I was such a fucking dickhead, they sent me to Fort McClellan in Alabama. Um, that's where they train the MPs. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to get into it. So I finish up. And they're saying like, well, airborne school, you get this amount of extra money. Yes. Yes, I'll go. <laughs> Uh, you want to go to air assault school? Yes, yeah, so I'll go. And, and I, um, I think nowadays, if I'm not mistaken, they call them badge hunters. Because uh, you get, um, uh, where the fuck is my UOD badge? I think my name over here, Forsyth was over here. And I had a different, I had a couple different names when I was in the military. And then over here, over like U.S. Army. Above that would be like my EOD badge. Then above that would be the air assault badge. And above that would be the airborne badge. So anyways. Uh, so anyways, after that, they're like, uh, hey, you know what? Have you ever considered trying out for tier one? Tier one is in the army, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, uh, in my opinion, is uh, Delta Force. And those guys are, in my opinion, my opinion, um, Rangers are badass mofos, but they are what we call blunt force trauma. <laughs> if, if you're causing our government enough problems what they do is they keep these guys at like Savannah, Georgia and a couple other places on the planet. And these guys are no joke. Uh, if, you, if you ever remember during World War II, there's a group of guys that shave their hair in the Mohawks. Anyway, anyways, let me let me tell you something. Rangers are guys we like keep in a cage. Picture cage like this, a, a four part cage. And you know you don't feed them enough. You don't feed them enough. You train the shit out of them, and you poke them all the time. And then you go, you know what? We're gonna turn you loose in someone's backyard. 
<laughs> and you can go and do whatever you want to do. And they're like, nah! So, anyways, those are Rangers. Um, other than that, you have uh, the Special Forces groups. Um, and those dudes are... Uh, uh, the word is what I refer to them as what the quiet professionals. They are. They work their ass off. They're what we call scholar athletic warriors they are not mindless beings neither are the rangers but the rangers are guys if you're like hey we need to knock this building down oh, all right give me give me some rangers <laughs> if if you're gonna go in there and you're gonna take somebody out surreptitiously special forces is that now i can't speak for the navy and the marines and do i think the Navy SEALs are elite, absolutely tier one. There are, <clears throat> as a combined service, I would say the Marine Corps is, on the whole, better than the rest of the services, simply because they can project a fight onto somebody else without a lot of adult supervision. <laughs> oh, so, <clears throat> so anyways, but uh, in the Army, from where I'm talking about, there's a step above the regular special forces, which is called Delta Force. And from what it was explained to me when I tried out, and I, I'm, I'm not lying to you, I tried out three times. I didn't make it any of the times. Um, I didn't quit. I, one of the things, what was I? I was, uh, I was qualified. Accepted but not selected. Qualified. Accepted. Meaning I had made the, but I wasn't selected. And anyways, <clears throat> I even tried out for the EOD. So let me, not, let me not, let me not, let me just. All that to say, one of the guys, the guy that just left the house was one of the guys I knew during that time. And uh, now. Nah. If you have like, they used to just bust my balls all the time. If you have like a, a 14 man team or a 10 man team or a three man fire team or all those kind of stuff, I was like uh, six six a <laughs> uh, 12 man team. I was 12.1. I was always the guy that was just on the edge. I mean, just on the edge. But honestly, you know what, and, and I don't have any problem with it now, but that guy, I mean, he just raised my spirits. We had a couple of drinks, and if, if, I'm, uh, if I sound like I've had a few drinks, yes, I've had a few drinks, and we just had a great time. I just, but he would just, like, he says, why would you run and do all that shit if you knew you weren't going to make it? And I would told him, I didn't think I wasn't going to make it. <laughs> in, my, in my mind, I was a combination of, John Wick, Rambo, the Terminator. I mean, anyways, I'm fucking hilarious. And we just went on and on and on. I, I, oh, I'm not gonna tell on myself. Uh, nah. Nah. It was just nice. I mean, I can't tell you. There are. I don't like the way I left the military. I don't like the way they treated me, calling me a broke dick when I was at Walter Reed having to deal with all the uh, <clears throat> fucking guys that never went over there and risked their lives telling me what it was like to be a soldier. So I don't go to the, anyways, all that to say, it was just such a nice thing to be. Uh, we called it the suck. When you were over in the Middle East, sometimes we called it, and I just, just, uh, I promise you, um, I don't think if you can find a better government or a better way to talk about how we should as a people, even though we don't get along, we have factions and all that kind of stuff. I believe in the United States. I believe in our government. I believe in our right to be wrong, our right to disagree. I have been in many places all over the, the, the rest of the planet. And 
we do have a very unique way of doing things. Is it right? Is it just? No. Is it always fair? No. But is it way, way better? If I could take my problems and throw them in a pile with everybody else, I would keep all of my problems and run away from the problems in Africa, the problems in Asia, the now as screwed up as you think things are here in the U.S. It's not as bad as it is somewhere else. So, anyway, it's so all I have to say. I'm just very happy. I know this is a random bunch of bullshit, but I can't even tell you what it's like to... Uh... I remember... It, the guy made me remember when I was young. And, uh, yeah. and he, he told me... He was, hey, uh, hey, Frank... Do you remember when you told all of us to fuck off? You were going to go join Delta Force and you weren't coming back? <laughs> and I did. I was big. I was fucking jacked, man. I was 215 pounds and I was the fucking jacked. I mean, I was taking anything and everything I thought I could take to get an advantage. Uh, anabolic. Nah, don't let, me, let me not tell him myself. But anyways, I was fucking jacked. And I, and, and I went around, and I failed, and I failed all three times. And the third time, he was like, hey, do you remember your last time? Do you remember when you told all of us, all of us we were fucking losers? <laughs> and he said, do you remember walking around going, I don't like you, I don't like you. you know? <laughs> and then I had to come back, oh, fuck. Nah. Anyways, it was just nice. Um, yeah, I, my hair was much darker. My hairline was down to about here. I've lost a few inches of my body, I gotta tell you. Man. Things aren't that bad. Um, believe in yourself, trust yourself. Uh, I'd rather see you reach for the stars and make it to the moon than to not try, so. Do what you can, take care of each other if you can. If you can't, I can't tell you. I'm glad where I'm at. I'm happy where I'm at. I paid the price to get where I'm at. If I can help you, I will. And I promise you, I won't try to take anything from you. Stay safe and healthy. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. Yeah, I'm a little bit uh, liquored up. <laughs> I'm out of here. Bye-bye.